Hello everyone and welcome back to Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark. I'm Luke the GM and I'm joined this adventure by, why goodness me, it's Lilith and Barnaby. What a pairing! Absolute Hi. pleasure to see you again. <laughs> Invisible hand that guides all we do. <laughs> So, last time we saw you both, you were, well, Barnaby, you were having your eyes sandblasted yes. on top of a train, as I recall. And this time it wasn't some quackish therapy. <laughs> it was a, <laughs> a complete accident. It's all the rage in Volusport, all yeah. the wealthy folks having Have their realized. eyes sandblasted. <laughs> yes, I have uh, level one harm, sandblasted eyes, and also I have four stress as well so i'd probably like to do yeah let's do downtime what's your what have you been up to in the meantime uh well i'd imagine i've uh i've been attempting to reduce my stress probably by doing a bit of carousing drinking and carousing as is my okay. want um so i would like to do that please remind All me right. what i do <laughs> it's <laughs> oh, only God. the hundredth time we've played blades <laughs> Okay, um, indulge your vice, visit purveyor of your vice, roll dice equal to your lowest attribute. Lowest attribute. Mm -hmm. So just one, then. I if suppose. you've got one dot, then yeah, that's one dice. Alright. Two! Two, okay. You For once. Cleared, cleared two stress. <laughs> For you once. Overindulged. I left before. I, For once, I said no to drinks after midnight, basically. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, and I've reduced two stress. Wow. All right, brilliant. You've got one more downtime action if you All right. like. All uh, right. I'd like to do some healing, please. I'd like to visit my optometrist to try and sort out these dastardly blasted yep. eyes. <laughs> sure. Uh, all right. Well, that's... Um... These blasted eyes. Yeah, literally blasted <laughs> eyes. So, uh, yeah, roll uh, roll two. Two dice. dice. I think, as we got... Yeah, you're off to the vet. I've got a five and a two. Okay, uh, so a five is uh, two segments of your healing clock filled. Fine and good. Let's say that you are. Um, let's say that for the duration of this adventure, Barnaby is being fitted with some corrective lenses. <laughs> um, which uh, unfortunately. Can I have the little Dracula ones? The purple Dracula ones. You can have little purple Dracula ones. Thank yeah, you. that's fine. But but. But the devil's bargain. <laughs> uh, they do. They do sort of. They are of a prescription strength that they make your eyes quite massive. Uh, <laughs> like a big owl. Me. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Okay. How about you, Lilith? Um. Well, I mean, last time was a little bit stressful, so I'd like to go uh, de-stress. Gonna go find uh, some, you know, off off the West End play, uh, <laughs> and uh, gonna go go have a little look. So we're gonna. Cool. One. I one. lowered one stress. It Brilliant. wasn't a very good play. Not a very play. good play. Uh, yeah. Very I was poor kind leg of, Next I, time, come to me for a recommendation. Yeah, obviously. well, it, I like my murder mysteries, and in this one, the butler did it. It was a bit obvious. Yeah. So Let's say you saw that. a play, um, but uh, you didn't know anything about it going in, and it turned out to be about a train heist where everyone died. <laughs> uh, so you couldn't really relax. Yeah. <laughs> And the butler did it. And the butler and the did. Butler the butler did killed it. everyone on the train. <laughs> and then they come out going, right, no butlers. No butlers with us. <laughs> We're not the bringing butler. a butler. The butler just Good news, out. I've persuaded my butler to come along. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your second downtime activity, Lilith? Uh, <laughs> am I trying to use stress again? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah. yeah. Um, or actually, I could lower our heat. Yeah. What is our heat? What is our heat currently? Uh, your heat currently is pretty hot. Uh, you're on, I believe, seven uh, heat and a wanted level of one. Okay, I'm, I might lower our heat level. So is that is that yeah. one dice for me? Uh, that is... Well, you say how you do it and roll the action for whatever you've done. Okay, so I'm going to go off... Um, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go off and try and find the old tra the train driver from our previous adventure. Sure. Um, and uh, basically introduce him to my butler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna uh, go like go for a drink with him and tell him some ghost stories because he he turns out he's quite interested in that uh, in in that stuff because he's spent so many times seeing horrors and stuff and so it's quite soothing for him to meet someone who can sort of control them to some extent um okay. and so i've sort of said to him hey if you ever need us 
uh like if you have any have, have any ghost problems just give me a call uh and i'll, I'll come help you um and then that's, Who that's are you hopefully going to call? Yeah. <laughs> All right, go on then. Roll me for that. Okay. The train driver was a p pretty massive loose end. Five. Like, Five. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So that is two heat reduced. Uh, nice. Yep. Yeah, well done. Um, let's say this: you eventually track down the train driver. Yeah. In a tavern, uh, you sidle up to him uh, alongside at the bar with the the story prepared about the you know offering of help the ghosts. As soon as he sees you, uh, he downs his drink and mm -hmm. hastily leaves. Clearly terrified. He will not be talking to uh -huh. the blue coats. Right. About what happened. Okay. He, the implication is he will be talking to someone else. To someone. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying there are there are forces out there who um who who have more persuasive way, ways and means of uh Extracting information, uh, but persuasive. But, <laughs> but he totally would have gone to the, to the you know to the cops. Mm -hmm. But and he, he was just working. In fact, in the bar, he was working up the courage to do that. But, yeah. Um, when he but saw I you, got he was like, the right time. Yeah. He assumes that you're now tailing him everywhere. And that right. You know, you know, right. Things, yeah. We find you. Where? Well, where are you two? Where are you? Two? You can be anywhere you like. Mm. I, th I think Barnaby will decide. <laughs> Yeah, think where it's are you, Barnaby? basically down to Barnaby. <laughs> um, where am I? Well, um, where are you probably some high-class drinking establishment. What is it, 11 a.m.? Sounds about <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah, just coming up to 11, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm probably in some very plush lounge uh, mm. drinking uh, whiskey. I, I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there so feeling very... Like, I'm, I'm from a well-to-do family, but mm. I still feel fairly out of place. <laughs> looking very goth. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you need to... Elevate your pinky as you drink your tea. Yes, much better. Honestly, these lessons are taking ages. <laughs> Barnaby, you're just leafing through a, a Volusport magazine. Um, Some the, sort of society. It's exactly a society mag. Um, it's mostly uh, only pictures. on page seven. You're already yeah the, yeah. You're only on page seven. I'm not trying uh, hard enough. I'm it's probably you. because all of the other um, society folks of Volusport are uh, posing with their Shrek lanthorns or um, uh, <laughs> issuing hot takes on <laughs> on what they think uh, should be in the sequel. But you know, there's other news in there. Uh, a crossword, a a city official that been found to be taking bribes, been arrested. There's going to be a public burning. Um, Huge surprise. There's uh, and you hot know news. other sort of general. <laughs> Yeah. Other general. The hot bowlers. goss. <laughs> the hot goss. Yeah. <laughs> the hot goss. Um, Lilith, you you didn't realise you were drinking an iced tea, um, but the the drink as you take a sip suddenly seems to be ice cold, and you notice before Barnaby does, possibly because you're not quite as wasted. <laughs> the room. Not quite. Not quite as. <laughs> The entire not room trying hard enough. <laughs> it's dark in. It's already dark in here because they do their best to kind of not remind patrons what time it is outside, so they don't mm. go home to their families. But um, mm -hmm. uh, but suddenly everything just get, by degrees just gets darker and darker and darker, Lilith, until it's pitch black. The only thing you can see uh, is Barnaby. Um, oh man! Who, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's am I right. flatteringly lit? <laughs> am, I, am I stuck in the void with Barnaby? You're stuck in the void with Barnaby. And no. and in fact, all other sounds die away. God, this is cracking stuff, this. <laughs> yes. Let me tell you. Wow. <laughs> Walking out of the gloom uh, come uh, two hooded figures. You you both recognise the style of hood as um, those... Door security the... again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you should be so lucky. No, it's mm. it's two dimmer sisters. Um, uh, yeah, this lot. Um, they they sort of approach you out of the gloom, lower their hoods. One of them just holds out their pale hands, and in it is a little white flag. And you all look at this white flag for a few seconds before. I use it to dab the corners of my cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put it back in there. Yeah. Thank you, gosh. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, the service around here is getting worse. It's now you. stained with bisque. Um, <laughs> and, you know, the dimmer sister who's not holding the flag uh, elbows her um, 
elbows her, her, her counterpart and says, um, ooh, names. If we had Lily and Millie, doesn't matter. If we have, yeah. it's them again. What about Bella and Slella? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, it's Lily and Millie. Says, um, <laughs> Millie, you're supposed to wave it. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, okay. S- surrender? Sur- uh, truce? All right, a truce, truce? truce? Is that what you're proposing? Truce. Or have I still got a piece of bisque? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Which side? Which side? Uh, well, my, 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 my left and right, not yours. I get confused. Uh, she reaches out, not with the flag, just with her hand, and just wipes your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Little over familiar, but fine. All clean now. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> so what did you come here to discuss? Kelly and or requests an audience. Right. Okay. Now, the two of you know by this point, the last time you encountered Kelly and or uh, was on the roof of the Dimmer Sister Mansion. Mm. Uh, the head of the order, the um, old friend who part you know, well, not friend anymore, but I suppose now Nemesis with with Eleanor, your your own patron. Uh, the last time you encountered her, as a reminder, yeah, you were on the bridge, uh, the roof of the Dimmer Sister Mansion, and she was screaming. I think she only got one line out in that adventure, but it was in a voice that I regretted because um, <laughs> I remember it as being very raspy. But what you have learned since then is that she is, of course, a member of the Brightness. Mm. Will you follow? Well, I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I guess didn't really so. have any other plans for today other than get completely blackout drunk and, you know. <laughs> this this will be as fun, I'm sure. He's fully yeah. uh, in this blackout. He's really <laughs> yeah. managed to do that. It's about as blackout as I'm going to get, isn't it, really? Okay, let's say that, in fact, the blackout remains because when you when you acquiesce to, the, to their request to, to meet uh, Kelly, each one takes you by the hand and they just walk you through this kind of pitch dark gloom. Barnaby, you've been in this social house long enough to recognise that you're kind of being led to the door and you Mm. can feel like that you're going down the steps, although you can't see them Mm. and you are basically guided blindly out of the building uh, and then walked along gently. Occasionally you can I'm used to navigating this place while not being able to see anything. Exactly, Um. yes. yes. (laughs) For quite a long time, Barnaby, you you do kind of know roughly where in Volusport uh, you are occasionally you feel a kind of like bump in your shoulder and you imagine you're probably bumping into people on the street eventually though you start to lose your way and over about mm. let's say uh, half an hour uh, you were eventually you know guided through this this kind of pitch darkness and eventually you you come to a stop um, and the gloom disperses and you find that you are inside a building a mouldering old uh, house. It's very grim. It's not the Dimmer Mansion. Mm. You would know that if you saw it, I suppose. That's fair. We also but yeah. sort of d- destroyed it, basically. It, it, well, it won't look as nice. It's having <laughs> some work done currently, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bit of the roof kind of caved in. And you know there was a lot of asbestos in that. <laughs> in that, that, that you know, it's going to be professionally dealt with. In uh, this room, in this mouldy old room, uh, you you see um, the, the well, there's Millie and already forgotten lily lily, lily. lily and lily <laughs> and sat on the bed is um uh, is the is the taller uh, but identically dressed figure of kelly and or she's yeah she's sat on a kind of springy kind of dingy moldy cot style bed morning hello <laughs> that was the voice wasn't it do you need, do you need a throat <laughs> sweet on, or on. anything you're right <laughs> some sort of lozenge <laughs> Actually, yes, a throat sweet would be incredible. I give, I give her, I've still got like the toffees and they're sort of like a throat sweet, so I give her one. Okay. I don't think it would be fair on myself if I didn't have to roll for this. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Yeah, it works. Ah, oh, that's much better. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what a relief. <laughs> Must be all of the asbestos in the. <laughs> yeah, I'd imagine. Some, there's clearly something nasty in the <laughs> ceiling of that old place. Well, did you favour collapsing it then? Well, <laughs> listen, we're at truce. Don't push it. <laughs> got, got it. Yes, sorry. Have a seat on the bed with me. Oh, okay. but it will ruin my coat. <laughs> 
remain standing if you like. It Thank you. To me. You are, I believe, at war with the brightness. Well, war is a very strong word. Mm-hmm. Minor skirmish, let's say. It's the word they're using. Right. Well, Let me tell yeah. you, they know all about you. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I do They've talk a lot about you. myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've been tracking you for some time. Have they been reading the society papers? <laughs> yeah, why don't you have a Shrek lantern? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I should have picked one up. Do you just not like it? or? Well, yeah, it's an acquired taste, I feel. I can't get enough of this. It's donkeys. <laughs> I'm busting up every time I spin this <laughs> Listen. It's the brightness decision, for now, that the most discreet course of action is simply to observe you, and that's what they have been doing, but be under no illusion they will not hesitate to strike, and strike hard, if they deem you a real threat. And that time could come sooner than you think. I have no more information to offer because, you see... I am myself no longer in communication with the group. What happened? Why? Depends who you ask. I'm you asking ask me. you. Well, I say they're a bunch of cowards. Interesting. I say they're a bunch of cowards. We've been at loggerheads for some time over some key philosophical disagreements. Right. I want to keep pushing risk ghost research that pierces the veil between realities. Mm. Uh, uh, sacrificing sanity for madness in search of deeper truths and they just want to maintain the status quo they just want their machines to keep spinning got it right I lost my temper things were said I stormed out anyway being being enormously wealthy the status quo does have some appeal but I'm prepared to listen to your your side of the argument too what is the point of the great wealth and the advantage and the power if we are not using it to push forward into bold new realms of discovery. Why, even in this room, I believe if we could only pierce the veil, if we could, whatever the cost, thousands of (laughs) thousands of truths, some horrifying, yes, but some beautiful, potentially, would come screaming out. (laughs) Wouldn't you like that? Beautiful truths would come... Screaming out. Howling out there all around us. Howling, yeah. Mm. Wailing, you might say. They're so close. Mm. They're so close. Right. It's only at... sanity that keeps us from seeing them. Uh-huh. Anyway, she she babbles on in this um, alarming way uh, for, some, for some time before eventually coming back to her point. Regardless of all that. <laughs> I stormed out. One day later, two of my favourite acolytes... Are seized by blue coats on trumped up charges of spirit twisting, sentenced by the Church of Ecstasy to be burned at the stake in public. Oh dear. A punishment that has not been used in Volisport for nigh on 150 years. And why do you think, coincidence, that the day after I stopped? No, they're trying to send a message. They want me to come crawling back. Well, I don't crawl. I have other plans. You are my other plans. Got it. You, yeah, okay. Yes. Rescue my acolytes from public execution tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Save them, and in exchange, I'll tell you everything I know about the brightness. That sounds like a reasonable deal. Yeah. Yes. Sit fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, interfere I mean, with an execution, not a problem. Yeah. Sure. D- Dim assistants creep me out, but I don't want them, like, burned Also, alive. we need that information. We need that information. Yeah. Quite yeah. aside from the p- two people who are going to be unfairly burnt at the stake. But well, <laughs> unfairly. Mm. <laughs> Somewhat unfairly. I said the charges were trumped up. I didn't say they, <laughs> they didn't do totally any spirits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Well, sure, they twisted all... a few spirits. <laughs> who hasn't? They didn't inhale. <laughs> Twist of lime. Twist of lemon. <laughs> bit of gin <laughs> I twist spirits all the time it's fine um, right uh, fine uh, any information we should know about this public execution anything useful what do you want to know location infrastructure where are they being held at the moment um, do you have any drinks in the drinks cabinet because I'm my buzz is starting to go uh, I have something rather potent quite here <laughs> uh, from within her cloak uh, she pulls a sort uh-huh. of milky looking substance hands it to you 
Uh, but, 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 but I'm not sure whether Drink that deep. is. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a sensible thing Drink right deep. now. I know the true shape of reality. <laughs> oh, uh, I drink Barnaby. to not know the true shape of reality. So I'm going to put this down. <laughs> Cowards. Uh, she takes it back from you and takes a big swig. Purple kind of blotting kind of creeps into the corners of her eyes, let's say. Hmm. Fast acting hangover. Right. Yeah. Um, so where are they being held? Where are your acolytes being held? That's probably the most pertinent bit of information. At the moment, they're being held in Ironhook Prison. Right. Ironhook Prison is the... It's the prison of Volusport. It is hmm. a huge... Uh, and Everyone tow- wants to... All the criminals want to Everyone wants to go there, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is a, a towering metal fortress uh, on the on the outskirts, the southern outskirts of, of Volusport, where the worst or most unlucky criminals uh are incarcerated they're being held there for now they will be moved by carriage convoy Mm -hmm. uh, along with i assume several other prisoners to the uh execution yard which is taking place in brightstone i believe they're setting they're probably setting it up now and that's where the execution will happen so um as i see it you have ample opportunities to intercept I would do it myself but they would see me coming and well I imagine Strangford has briefed them to be on the lookout for my sisters Lord Strangford Mm. oh Lord Strangford sorry I thought you meant some sort of you know blue coat peon Barnaby you know that Lord Strangford um, operates one of the largest Leviathan hunter fleets Uh, that's how his family made its fortune. He serves on the city council. He's a high-ranking judge within the Church of Ecstasy. They were the ones who've sentenced these two Dimmer sisters to death. He's a Brightener, too, as well as Kelly and Orr. His name is on the list mm-hmm. you secured. He's the one who, um, well, I may have called him some names. He hates me. I hate him. <laughs> That's fine. That's a, He's a bit of an idiot. Um... What, will he be overseeing the entire process? I mean, will he be accompanying the... the uh, the two acolytes from Ironhook to Brightstone, or I don't know. Okay, he is a secretive fellow. Mm. He, I imagine, he will. Well, I, I have no idea. A real bore. As I say, I there hasn't been a public burning to... in 150 years. It's very cruel, and yes. that's coming from me. What I, I mean, the the risks of of killing people in a public place surely are massive. What are the their sort of how are they mitigating that? I assume they have spirit wardens on hand. Bakaros will probably be somewhere in the mix with his goons. Lilith, you remember mm-hmm. Bakaros as the leader of the um, the the eccentric leader of the spirit wardens, um, the masked individuals who are in charge of dissolving bodies, yeah. destroying ghosts. Yeah, on the conveyor belt. I imagine under controlled conditions. Yeah. You'll have thought of something. Fine. Uh, Unless there's anything else you think it pertinent for us to know, I think we should probably get cracking. Do you want to know their names? Sure, why not? Well, Barnaby, I think you know them quite well already. Go on. Little Rosie and Josie. <gasps> oh, oh no. The ones who went inside my head. Ugh. Yes. Can we, can we not just sort of let them maybe be a bit burnt at the stake? Of course you can. If you right. don't want that information, I possess. Yes. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm going to go along with it, but not terribly happy. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> okay. Um, well, you've been given some information by Kellyanor, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ke- sorry, by Kellyanor. Not a, a huge amount, I suppose, but it sounds like she's somewhat on the outside of the inner circle, as things stand. So... Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have your task. Enter planning phase. Right. Well, it looks like uh, intercepting them in transit is probably yeah, the Yeah, the carriage um, is probably the weakest point. I don't yes. think we'd have much luck breaking into a prison. So yeah, I think it's just finding out when they'll be transported and finding a way to stop that and get them out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Um, I wonder if we can get a look at the, the transport ahead of time, perhaps. Maybe rig it. With yeah, rig it somehow. Sneak in, yeah. Okay. These sound like these sound like cool maneuvers. 
Let's start rolling for them, shall we? Mm-hmm. Sure. Barnaby, why don't we start with you? You you were sure. trying to find out uh, the yeah. What I'm this... sure it's uh, I'm sure it's a private contractor who's providing security for this operation. Um, so mm. uh, probably I can use some of my contacts amongst the wealthy to um, find out a little more about um, which which service is being tasked with moving the prisoners and what sort of equipment they're going to be using. Yeah, go on then. Um, make me a roll for that. Now, would that be consort, do you think, or sway? Consort feels closer to me, but if you yeah. can make the case for sway, you can... No, no, I think that's fine. It is, it is, yeah, consorting sounds about right. There's only two dice, um, but let's give it a go. Oh, wow, two sixes. <gasps> wow, okay. Whoa! Crit. Gosh, um... Whoa! <laughs> crit, crit, crit. Did it turn out that Squiffy <laughs> accidentally bought a security company while he was drunk? <laughs> let's say that the <laughs> let's say you didn't you didn't buy it, but you have invested quite heavily. Mm. Uh, do you remember Darnell Ironhook of the Tripot Whaling Firm? You of were course. both aboard his boat. Mm. We were. Um, and I think he tried to hit me in the head with a paddle or something. Um, or maybe I tried to hit him in the head. I'm fuzzy on the details as usual. Yeah. Uh, look. What happens at sea? Darnell has a saying. <laughs> what happens at sea? Um, <laughs> it's all. We were barely at sea. We were, we were we, moored yeah. in a dock, but we were on the water. You were on the. Oh, you were over. Yeah, you were over the over the sea. Um, yeah, you, uh, you 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 put a little money into into that. He actually came to to, to you, Barnaby. He was very persuasive. He was very um, persuasive. Uh, he was he was looking to his, expand. His into, numbers looked uh, good. I mean, yeah. what can I say? You know, I know a good investment when I see one. The the tripod whaling firm has been doing so well. He was looking to expand into private security, uh, and so yeah, it is tripod security. Nice. Uh, is is the is the private firm who are with the blue coats organising the uh, the prison transport? Obviously, this is a uh, slightly special case um, because there hasn't been a public execution like this in 150 years so logistically it is a little uh, a little unusual and mm. a, a little a little new what you know is that the carriages that the tripod security firm provide uh, are real secure uh, mm-hmm. they are kind of reinforced inside and out it is extremely hard to get in or out of these carriages there are no windows uh, they're they're completely sealed in um, kind of reinforced iron all around and you know of the of the highest grade manufacturing mm-hmm. each carriage requires um, two keys uh, used simultaneously to open and yeah let's also say that because this is quite a logistically tricky thing to have organised, um, mm. these carriages, they are moving not just uh, the prisoners, uh, they are also moving uh, quite a few other prisoners, because, you know, iron hooks overflowing, uh, they're mm-hmm. moving them to kind of halfway halfway houses, is that the right? I guess, term? yeah, yeah, halfway yeah. house. They're moving them to, uh, yeah, to other other smaller prisons, other lockups. Some of them, you know, are on their way to the parole board or to the to the courts and stuff. So quite a few prisoners are being moved in this same convoy. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, you know, there's a logistical benefit and a security benefit too, because uh, it's not clear who will be in which carriage. The plan is you've you've been given so much information. You've been mm. given a uh, like the route from Iron Hook. Uh, it's a kind of winding route uh, that takes some unpredictable turns it's it's not a kind of direct mm-hmm. kind of path uh, to the square where the execution uh, is set to happen and then the other carriages you know kind of go onwards to the courthouses mm-hmm. then at that point they split up but uh, the carriages are going to be flanked um, on both sides by blue coats on horses and the carriages will be driven by uh, employees of the security firm mm-hmm. tripod security uh, heavies if you like and then is it, all, they, is it all of the carriages that the uh, goat drawn? Is it <laughs> goat drawn? Um, yeah. Is it all of the carriages that the that the company owns that are, are being put into service? Are there any spares at all? Good question. Um, is it our whole fleet? I will tell you what, it's every carriage that is currently functional. Uh, right. Carriages that are like broken or in need of repair, mm-hmm. they are you know they are obviously not not being used but every active servicing uh you know carriage yeah is going to be part of this convoy 
It's a big operation. Do we know which carriage uh, our two pals are going to be in? Our two ghosty pals? No. Um, okay. Darnell could probably find out, but why does he care? Mm-hmm. You know, he's probably um, not even going to be there. Does he? Know, do we know which one will be at the front? Which carriage will be at the front of like? Is it? Will it be just one carriage or like? Oh no. Oh, so no. this will be yeah, about so proper convoy about how many 10 10 carriages ten. Ten. Okay. okay so i'd like to try and find out which one will be at the front of the route which particular carriage which particular carriage will be at the front of the convoy okay cool okay so i'm gonna have a little roll of study i suppose for that Oh, I've got a two and a four. got a four. Mm, a four? Okay. What you did was basically stake out Ironhook Prison. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you set up a, a position in, a, in, a, in an empty building, kind of a, a, across the road. Property prices around there, pretty low. Looking out onto Ironhook, it's, you know, quite a, a grim, grim view. Yeah. This huge metal fortress. Uh, and you basically just watched things happening, the gates opening, things coming in and out. You did see, like, carriages... Uh, like tripod security carriages going in. Yeah. You could make a reasonable guess that the last one, the last carriage you saw going in, is yeah. probably going to be the first one out. Um, because otherwise, logistically, it's going to, you know, inside they would have to kind of reorder. Yeah. Them. They're probably just going to yeah. spin these things on the spot okay. and send them out. Was there, I suppose, what'd you get? You got a four, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, you noticed a distinguishing feature of that final carriage to go in uh mm-hmm. it's it's subtle it's a little bit of chipped paint on the uh on okay. the on the on the rear bumper if you like but um in the process of doing this you were spotted okay. um you leaned a little too far out the window and someone on a watchtower uh shone a bright light at you and went hey you you with the hood yeah what do you want oh i just think carriages are really cool name please Oh, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a what? (laughs) It's a lovely night, isn't it? And I run. (laughs) (laughs) Cool. All right. Yeah, fair enough. They didn't get your name. This one guard got a look at you. Uh, So there's not going to be easy to sneak in. Probably, probably... At least the prison, maybe the convoy, are going to have been briefed to be on the lookout of... You know, they'll be given a list of, like, if someone's going to try mm-hmm. something, it'll be this. You know, okay. usual suspects, kind of gang leaders, known, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, known wrongans who they believe will be okay. interfering, and you are on that list. Well, well, some, your description is on that list. Okay. Riding the momentum of my <laughs> wonderful crit, yeah. um, I'm sure I could argue that this uh, is a really big deal for my security company and it's a big investment and this is potentially a, you know mm. very important for the future of the company so i feel like i should be sort of able to oversee most if not all of the stages of this operation mm. I, I feel like my presence should be not at all suspicious you know yeah. as a sort of he just as wants a, to make sure it goes smoothly it's his absolutely, company yeah. mm. uh, it can't go wrong let's say now CEO, uh, co-founder, come on. Yeah, let's, um, you were a big investor in the company. Let's mm. say Darnell ultimately gets final say. It sure. is his, co- you're an investor, but it's his company. However, as a significant investor, you do hold some sway. Mm. He agrees that, yes, this can happen, but he'll have to be with you the ho- every step of the way. That's fine. Flashback. Have, yeah. I get drunk with him. Okay. <laughs> In one of his preferred rowdy, you know, hard yeah. side pubs. Yeah, cool. And we have a wonderful time. We get on swimmingly, obviously. Sure. Because I'm delightful Because you end up company. in the harbour. Like, <laughs> yeah. Alright, fine. Yes, that also happened. Cool. Um, yeah. Take me one stress for the flashback. Yeah, so you just want to be basically on good terms with... Mm. Yeah. Uh, with D- D- Iron Hook. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, up, yeah. Get on like a house on fire. He hadn't even planned to like oversee this whole situation, mm. but um, but you know, I tell him it'd be fun. Yeah, um, yeah. He's he's for for a for a key investor. He's willing mm. to do a. It's basically a kind of very cushy ride along, is what you're mm. 
Cool. Okay. Is there any th any other planning you want to do? Um, or yes. Do you wanna... cool. In order to engineer a, a situation where we have access to one of the carriages, here's my thinking. Little elaborate, but I have been drinking. What Love if it. we take one of the less shoddy carriages that needs some repairs, might fall apart at any moment, blah, blah, blah. Switch the serial numbers so that in the convoy there's a broken carriage. And then I'm thinking take the working carriage as a replacement, last minute replacement, with, here's the fun thing, saw a magic show recently, trick floor. And then all we need to do is work out a way for Rosie and Josie to hide in the trick floor and then it'll look like they've vanished. Probably won't even investigate that much because they'll just put it down to weird, you know, magical nonsense. I love it. Okay, mm -hmm. let me try and recap, paraphrase what you just said. Your plan is take one of the kind of shoddy carriages. Yes, but basically functional, but likely to fall apart during the journey. That could be made functional, perhaps. Mm. Install in that carriage a trick floor and have it swapped out with, uh, it, you know... With an existing... It, yeah. Basically mm -hmm. get it into the convoy. Yeah. I want the carriage with the trick floor into the convoy. I don't mind if we swap them early and then install the trick floor into the functioning carriage or vice versa. Mm -hmm. But either way, I want there to be a... A, a carriage, carriage with, a trick, with a trick floor. Okay. My only problem is I don't know which carriage Rosie and Josie are likely to be in. Mm. I don't think there's enough time to fit trick floors in all of them. <laughs> so we are going to have to work it out a little bit on the fly. But that's my plan. Okay. It's sounding like maybe this plan is going to start not with the convoy in process, but mm. like at, yeah. at the prison, yes. potentially. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, as the convoy kind of gets underway. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, I love it. Well, I mean... I, we could I, switch the serial numbers... Uh, we could switch the serial numbers initially. Yep. So we've got a broken carriage. Come to the prison, last mm -hmm. minute. This carriage is broken. It's non-functional. Look, this axle is damaged or whatever. Yep. Uh, and then use that as the opportunity to switch in a functioning carriage with the trick floor. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think, yeah, the biggest obstacle still is that you don't know where Rosie and Josie are going to be in the convoy mm. but and i don't know how but maybe that's something that we figure out yes on the fly in flashback that feels like the kind of thing where if we started to try and plan it we would basically be in the score already so yeah, yeah. also we've got to somehow communicate to rosie and josie ah, their role in the plan of course. which probably is going to do some weirdy spooky stuff to all the prisoners that they're in with yeah and then and then clamber into a, a hidden trap door no. Lilith, why don't you tell me how you want to do that and we will see how it goes as part of the engagement role. Yeah, um, I would like to uh, hide within the little trap door my little ghosty pal Finn so that when everything is in transit, she can pop her head through the trap door and be like, hello, <laughs> you can get in here. Lilith says terrifying. get in here, we'll get you ah, out. Well, they know ghosts, okay. so, yeah, you true. know, that's fine. So if you, if you want to live, hide in the trap door. Yep. And because, uh, yeah, she she likes me, so she'll she'll do fun things. And I've, I've promised her another fun day doing ghost things. Cool. That sounds great, because then you don't need to communicate with Rosie and Josie in the uh, yeah. prison. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see how well your instructions to Finn get understood as part of the engagement role. Okay. Before we do that, though, <laughs> this trap floor, yes. you can't just... No pun intended, magic up a trap that floor. floor. <laughs> well, what's Edvard up to? He doesn't have much of a social life. <laughs> um, Edvard and the other two, uh, whatever their names are, <laughs> you find that they are not there, which is weird. They normally leave a note, mm -hmm. but they are not around. So it's up to you two to maybe find someone in town capable of um, constructing this sort of mechanism. Um... Do we, any, I, do we know any uh, Astor engineers? Those chaps seem like they know what they're doing. Um, I could ask Flint, because he's making all sorts of like ghost traps and stuff. Mm. He's my spirit trafficker friend. 
So I could go and ask him, uh, see if whether like he makes them or he gets someone else to make them, like find out where he gets his ghost traps from. All right. Yes. Um, and and he didn't die, him. did he? he no, was... I saved him. Yeah, I saved yeah. him from so a very horrible you. situation. <laughs> yeah. He owes you big. <laughs> Flint doesn't know how to build a trap for. However, uh, Flint gives you the address of, um, of, of someone who does. Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't we kind of flash you to the outside of this kind of like shabby looking sort of building uh it's it's another it, yeah it's it's somewhere else in char hollow mm-hmm. um yeah you're stood in front of this door for the address you've been given okay but I'd, I'd like to knock uh yeah the 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 door is kind of opened a crack and you see a, a bright gleaming eye out of hello who is it <laughs> Hello, my name's Lilith. Um, I heard that you're quite good at making things. Ah, a potential client? Uh, we. Oui. You have money? Uh, so. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> he looks like he has money. Y- yeah, he does. Then come in, my friend. Hello. Um, <laughs> the door is pulled wide, uh, revealing, you know what? Um, revealing a tabaxi, uh, a tall cat person. Um, now, Lilith, you've travelled around a lot. Uh, you have seen. Are you uh, seeing this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's not just the absinthe then. <laughs> oh no, no. no. Great. Um, Legends say that in the old days it was much more common to encounter uh, tabaxi uh, and and all sorts of other peoples of the world. But since the ghost calamity with travelling around so perilous and only the cities being safe for habitation, mm-hmm. it is very very rare uh, to to see a, a tabaxi in in this in this part of the world. But here is one. Come in, come in, have a sit down. Hello. Um... Welcome. Yeah, we 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 need a trap door uh, installed into a carriage. Ah, interesting. It can be done. Yeah, no we, with a compartment underneath that's big enough to hide two people, but can be concealed anyway. Two quite small people. They're not massive. Too small. Yeah, they're not. What kind of carriage are we talking about? An extremely <sighs> secure prison carriage. Ho ho ho. The price just went up. <laughs> um, I also feel it might help our uh, our case a little bit if uh, we ostensibly have added some additional security, perhaps security against magic, for this particular carriage. Because mm-hmm. then we can make our case when we switch the carriages that actually are two most high profile most dangerous passengers let's say euphemistically prisoners uh should be housed in the most secure of the carriages oh nice Mm -hmm. very nice okay cool so perhaps some ghost field stuff you know sort of like what edvard was cooking up uh for the train carriage you know maybe just those additional they don't have to be functional but they just have to look the part yeah. It is no problem. I can, uh, I can cook up something like this. Uh, let, uh, let me show you my laboratoire. Uh, yeah, you are... Um, Your what, sorry? <laughs> my laboratoire. <laughs> the, lav- the lavatory. Sorry, I'm not... My French is terrible. <laughs> Quoi? <laughs> Je suis désolé. <laughs> he speaks nonsense, Nipa. Oui. Um, yeah. Yeah, you are shown to the laboratory of this tabaxi. Who who introduces themselves, by the way? Um, my name is uh, uh, Carton de Road. Carton de Road. So called Carton of what? Car Cart Cart like drum bag. Like drum bag. <laughs> like a goat would pull. Cart Cart. Right. Oh well. How very fitting. Yeah. Precisely. I was named for my uh, because I love to wander. Uh, <laughs> okay. I um, I was considered something of a, a charlatan in my home 
land. Uh, I pretended I could speak to the... I'm getting really into this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New fate, new fate here. I uh, may have pretended that I could talk to ghosts. This is how I made the acquaintance of your Oh, you love, Flint. you love Lilith. Uh-huh. Yes, I was a uh, trickster, a magician, using false floors and ghost fields, mostly. Perfect. I <laughs> conjured Perfect. the illusion. What a stroke of luck. Yes. Uh, mm. There is only one thing I ask of you, apart from a great deal of money for <laughs> the service I'm about to provide. Yeah. I have been living in this squalor. It is despicable for uh, a, uh, a a cat of my talents. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want you to make sure when this goes down that everybody knows the. It was thanks to the brilliant engineering of Cart on the Road, the famed Tabaxi illusionist. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's fine. It might get you into a little bit of legal trouble, but otherwise... Uh, they free. would have to catch me first. <laughs> I would simply <laughs> climb into a trap door. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good point. Yes. <laughs> cart on the road seems the reckless sort. Yeah, uh, <laughs> fine. No need to roll for this because I love cart on the road. I can't, I can't even imagine a world where they fail to do a brilliant job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the plan is... Um, are you going to bring the carriage to Cart on the Road? Are you going to bring Cart on the Road to the carriage? Uh, well, we presumably own the warehouse where they're stored, right? So You have a controlling interest in the warehouse where they're yeah. stored. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You can go there. Yeah. And actually, you know, um, I, I, you know, this is long before the actual sort of supervised portion of the, uh, of the thing. So, yeah, let's take, let's take him there. Cool. Okay. I think at this point we have to start covering stuff off with the engagement roll. Let's hope it all goes well. Okay. Um, but to recap, the plan is uh, get cart on the road discreetly uh, to the warehouse where mm. all of the carriages are being kept. Yeah. I think I already said that they've been like moving in and out of Ironhook, but let's say that they kind of are taken in and out. There's trans. There's prisoner transports daily, so that's mm-hmm. you know. They're Mm -hmm. they're currently overnight before the execution, Mm -hmm. being stored in a tripot warehouse. Get carts on the road there, make modifications to busted carriage, switch serial numbers, get busted carriage with modifications Mm -hmm. uh, into convoy, tell everyone Rosie and Josie, uh, the most dangerous prisoners, should be stored in the The most most secure secure carriage, carriage. Yep, and then break them out using a ghost en route or not break them out but hide them hide yeah. them okay Woo! okay cool let's roll the engagement roll <laughs> uh, okay pop d for sheer luck mm-hmm. excellent is it particularly bold or daring yes you know it <laughs> it's a barnaby score <laughs> now is this overly complex or contingent on many factors i'm going to say Yes, mm, it feels not, not 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 too complex, but it is complex. Mm. There are like m- a lot of moving parts here, uh, so we're going to take away a dice for that. Does the detail expose a vulnerability of the targets or hit them with their weakest? I'm going to say yes because um, we literally own the company. <laughs> yeah, and you also had the option to like break them out of prison or try and free them from like the pyre, the executioner's mm. pyre. But you did you have sort of did you know uh, come to the conclusion that the of the three, this is the most straightforward. Yeah, safest, yeah. yeah. Is the target strongest against his approach? No. Particular defences or special preparations? No. Friends or contacts provide aid? Hell yes. Yeah. Your new mm-hmm. best friend, cart on the road. Yeah. Are there any enemies or rivals interfering in the operation? Not that we know of, but who knows? We're always being overlooked. The brighteners are always watched, involved, aren't they? Not that you know of, although yeah. you have heard that there is a group with whom you have had... Right, We're at war, was... apparently. Mm. Seems a little dramatic, but fine. Yeah. <laughs> not, not even just the brightness. I think uh, Bakaros of the spirit. We know the spirit wardens are involved, and mm. uh, probably the railway. Well, he still doesn't oh, know. He just knows me as the intern who flunked off. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's true, but he's a brightener. Yeah, he's, a, he's on the. He'll, he'll certainly. He'll know. Good, yeah. All right, who I am now. Well. Are there any other element, any, any other elements you want to consider? Uh, you've currently got two dice, so if you want to, if you, if you want to make a case, mm. that's the time. Or let's just do it and be legends. 
Let's just do it and be legends. Do Hell yeah. Here we go. Two fours. Hey, not bad. Okay. okay. That is success. But With a, a complex, complex success. Okay. Let's say the part of the plan that involves cart on the road obviously goes smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> this, this dude cannot put a port wrong. Uh, yeah, you get... Um, what? What's the kind of guise under which you're getting carts on the road into the... Uh, into the warehouse where the, the carriages are all being stored, Barnaby. Um, I, I'm going to be actually quite upfront about it and say, look, I only recently heard, but these um, these two, this Rosie and Josie, I've had, they've had dealings with me in the past. They assaulted me. Um, so oh, I, my Lord, I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, I know. Can I get um, you a nice pack? Well, I mean, it was a little while ago now. I have recovered. Um, ah. Did they do that I'll to your the eyes? eyes? Back. <laughs> yeah, I'll take the eyes back because my eyes are completely shot. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think we need to step up security. You know, this is an extremely important um, yes, yes. Uh, contract for our company. The, the future of the company really rides on it, so your job included. We have to burn those horrible witches. So. We have to burn those horrible witches. This is what I was saying, not, you know, 24 hours ago to uh, my companion here, uh, Lilith, and spiritual advisor, um, <laughs> and yoga teacher, and Very also trendy. a nutritionist. Um, and, uh, yes... The point is that we need to um, we need to get these these uh, these two um, witches let's let's just say to the to the funeral pyre. So we need extra security. We're going to add. So we have this expert in the in the uh, the dark arts here to uh, to create some security just to ensure that they don't try any magic funny business. Cart on the road says nothing but raises his eyebrows and flicks away his cigarillo. I reach for a green uh, smoothie from Lilith. Yep. Green, I'm, green smoothie, please. I'm, I'm just laughing because <laughs> Lilith is the whole time. I well, I just remembered Lilith is watching the whole time, and Barnaby's eyes are really, big. <laughs> yeah, really <laughs> these tiny spectacles that just like huge people. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I. I need a green smoothie to keep my eyeballs hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> I, I give him a, a green substance. Thank you. <laughs> Down the hatch much better cool. you get carts on the road into this warehouse um the you you are sort of walked over there by the by the by the bloke who was on the door mm -hmm. a, a, well um it, it's not exactly what uh mr ironhook specified but uh if if you would like we i'm could... sure we can speak to, i'll be with uh mr ironhook tomorrow uh mm. throughout so um don't you worry about it. We'll both be there. We'll both be supervising. We both know how important this is yes. to the future of the company. So um, I will fill him in later. But for the moment, we are running to time pressure here. Yes. Uh, and we really We've need to, to get these, these out within Absolutely. the hour. Um, well, I mean, this this is our most secure carriage. Uh, the carriages are kind of arranged in, in mm -hmm. two rows of fives. Five, that you can't see any difference between them, really. Um, but he points mm -hmm. to one carriage that you know just amongst all the others yep um i think at this point we can sort of safely discard the element of the, the kind of swapping in the broken swapping carriage in, yeah, the, sure. yeah, kind of knackered carriage. yeah change this one um yeah. we if 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 you want uh, uh sir we can make sure that uh uh rosie and and and, and josie are, are 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 transported in 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 this carriage that would be perfect i mean we're going to add some specific uh anti-magic measures to the side of this carriage that will yes, uh, yes. hopefully I, prevent them from trying I, anything. I will let your I will let your mechanic get on with it. Thank you. Cart on the road flicks down a welding mask like that and brings out some tools and basically just gets to work on this carriage. Mm -hmm. And kind of within oh, wait, an hour. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of within an hour kind of rolls out from underneath it. Um the I carriage now. His tummy. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah. it wasn't habit. <laughs> it is fine by me. <laughs> um <laughs> Some habits are to be encouraged, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he um, uh, he he kind of sh gestures to the cart, which now kind of glows with a faint oscillatronic hue. It is a uh, there's there's a, a a ghost field active now on the, mm -hmm. on, the on the carriage, and the the trap door is is installed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, anyone uh, all. Uh, the passenger would, would need to do is to stamp twice out uh, on mm -hmm. this section on the central section of floor a door will pop up they can climb in 
no one will know it is there. Perfect. Thank you so much it for your work. It is completely hidden. Um, I will leave I, you now. All right. I would like to um, hide Finn in there and give her the instructions. Okay. Um, as to what to do. Tell Finn what to do. Um, it's nice all right. to see you again. Hello. Oh, I've, missed, I've missed you. Oh, where are we? So, we're in. Ooh. Let's see all these fabulous carriages. So shiny. Yeah. Well, I need you uh, to do I a special need you job. Too. Aww. Oh, that's lovely. You know what? We've got it. We, I've got you. You need. I need you to do this for me, and then afterwards, we're gonna do a whole day of super fun stuff. <gasps> All right. Okay. We're gonna go exploring and see some other ghosts and stuff. Okay. You excited for that? Cool. So what I need you to do before we do that, I need to help these two people. And so there are two two uh rosie and josie are gonna be in this carriage later on nice. remember them they're huh? friends as well they're very nice they are nice um i reach for a drink <laughs> my, <laughs> my lights load uh, you're kind of um, to everyone else by the way this looks like lilith is just basically whispering to a jar yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah 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 it looks like she it, you you loudly say something about your nutritionist <laughs> mixing up a or something yes yeah. yes um yeah. yeah just ignore her yeah nutritionist <laughs> who knows it seems to work though you know i'm cool. regular yeah. as a grandfather clock um so uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway, i'm gonna have a drink <laughs> cool. um yeah so but what i will say is that they're the one of their repair of the dimmer sisters so if they try anything with you you're allowed to scare them a little bit okay but only to keep them in line and make sure they don't hurt you all right so what you need to do is a little way along is you need to pop your head out and you need to tell them to stamp on this bit of the floor twice okay i can't stamp i'm a ghost no but they you need to tell them to do it okay <gasps> they stamp on me. so they they stamp on this little bit of the floor okay Why? and then the door will open and then they can come hang out with you oh. in the little gap in the carriage Oh. And then you have to be as quiet as you can, like playing sardines, and you have to be quiet, all right? Okay, I'll be quiet. Yeah, and then okay. afterwards, when it's all done, we can go do something fun, and you can be as loud as you want, and we can have a lot of fun, all right? Okay. 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 I guess. We do our special right. handshake? <laughs> yep. You start <laughs> it, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> against the glass. I continue drinking. <laughs> <laughs> now you rolled a four, which means that uh, let's see. According to the according to the book, you're in a risky position where the action starts. The risky position, I'm going to say, comes from the fact that you um, a large part of this plan hinges on a ghost <laughs> uh, telling the Dimmer Sisters um, yeah, something to, to do. Yeah, famous ghost manipulators and. Uh, spirit mm -hmm. twisters but maybe but you know that's not a problem for right now is it um do we want please to add any okay, other Finn. please be okay Finn. <laughs> don't hurt my little fin <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay uh they right eat ghosts do they or something <sighs> no but they twist them around twist, spirit <laughs> twisting right got it. you have placed uh you have placed finn's bottle i guess with the lid slightly yeah, 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 it's just... In the hidden part of this uh, compartment. As you do this, you get a chance to examine the mechanism for yourself and kind of go like that, and it, it softly, like a soft closed drawer, just like, mm. kind of opens. It's a real slick piece of engineering. Beautiful action. Beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. Lovely stuff, Carp. It's just a great action. And yeah, you place the, you, you place Finn's thing in, no problem. Uh, yeah, at this point, you are... Uh, both of you uh, stood in the warehouse of carriages. Um, someone is starting to, you know, kind of like whistle and stuff. That 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 goats are being kind of like tied to the carriage. Like, mm -hmm. Come on, come on, guys. let's get these moving. Let's get these okay. to the prison. Um, All right. Um, yeah, the the convoy is heading to the prison. What do you two want to do? Uh, I should flash. probably go, go through. I, I would like to flashback flash back, mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, Edvard was telling me about this amazing contraption that he'd made that was basically like Sounds a like clockwork him. clockwork spear 
but like a clockwork kind of also like bayonet almost type thing where it's just like a piston thing and you you wind it up and leave it and then eventually after a while this spear just comes out the end and goes Doom! and okay. it's just like sort of like a security he's looking at different security measures i mean he impaled the marvelous mechanical man with it so it's kind of like one of his like back to the drawing board ideas but i took it um and i would like to install it on the coach that i saw as probably being the first one with the little bit of paint missing and okay. i would like to install it on like by the wheel so that tiny uh, it, and it, it takes it like one of the problems is it, it takes so long it, like the clockwork he made was too long so it was a few hours that it yeah. sets so i'd like to kind of like wind it fully up and then by the time it actually goes off they'll be on the move in the convoy and then once it stops spoke will go out it'll go like this uh spear will go out and go in the spokes and hopefully stop the convoy okay sure um roll me for that okay so I'm going to do this as a furnace. Oh, I got a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so you find now. you find the carriage with the chipped chipped bit of paint, and yeah, this this thing it kind of I guess it looks like a like a well it, it looks a little bit like a telescope when it's all folded up. It's you know yeah. kind of like a, a metal cylinder like that, and you just basically discreetly just duck down, pretend you've dropped something, and just just ram it up on into the yeah, uh, and it sti- it kind of sticks between two bits of wood. Um, yeah, and that's going to yeah, hopefully. Well, you rolled a six, yeah. So you you're pretty confident um, that you you aimed this right, and it's going to go off. And I guess yeah, the leading carriage stop the convoy. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, yeah, the carriages are all being uh, taken away. Where do you two want to be? What do you want to do? Where is I your... want to go and meet with Darnell. Yeah. Um, okay. And uh, I, you know, as casually as possible, drop into conversation that um, I because I've dealt with Rosie and Josie before. Um, I've added some extra security. Basically. Yeah, sure, sure, that's fine. Um, won't make you roll for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's say you're now with Darnell. Let's say Darnell has just uh, arrived as the convoy is leaving mm-hmm. the warehouse. He himself walks in mm-hmm. and says. Barnaby, didn't expect to find you here. Wow, um, big day for the company, isn't it? So, yeah, will I you be so. uh, accompanying the convoy with me? You still want to do your little ride along? Absolutely, yes. Ah, well, nice. you know, it's important to keep an eye on this. And as I may have explained to you when we were drinking the other night, I've had a run-in with this Rosie and Josie, and I want to see them get to that stake and get burnt as quickly as possible. They're <laughs> dodgy you, characters. You're you're a right weirdo, Barnaby, but your money folds. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to saddle up. He, he explains to you that as this convoy of carriages kind of goes single file down the streets mm-hmm. of Volusport, he will be on a horse. Yes. On, you know, moving, walking to one side of it the whole way, as will many blue coats and... Fine. Yeah, yeah. So, will you be right? I shall also you... ride a horse. Uh, Marvellous. As you know, I'm You're a rather accomplished polo player. Top scorer in my oh, team yes. for the last year. They keep tapping it towards me just in front of the goal, and I tap it in. It's really <laughs> quite a straightforward game. Um, so uh, yes, I'll be um, I'll be riding alongside. Uh, Lilith, what will what's your plan um, during the convoy? I, I would like to be like along one of the streets, the quieter streets. Yep. Um, there just will be kind a, of a crowd of people probably will just be watching this, this happen the whole time. Now. Yeah, I'd yeah, like to yeah. just kind of like be walking behind the crowd, the crowd like yeah, just sure. wandering along. They're not going to be moving quickly. These carriages are they really? So mm, you could probably no. track them on foot. No. Yeah. Let's jump to. Uh, I don't think we need to see any business in the prison, do we? Because um, there we've we've got no business there really. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you you all. Uh, Lilith, you you kind of vanish up, melt off into the crowd, you know, and and take your place along. Uh, it's like Disneyland, you know, when you know where the parade's going to be, so you like you you know get Pick a good up. spot on a corner. Meanwhile, Barnaby, you you uh, accompany Darnell on horseback. Roll me for how good you are at riding horses, really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one enjoying the Barnaby thing, and two liking how to explain to me parades. You immediately went like Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would say this is a finesse roll, surely. That's four and a two. Okay. You are... Yeah, yeah. It's like that. You're... 
You know in Labyrinth where that little fox rides around on the dog? <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's... Okay, Something yeah, wrong cool. with this horse, I think. <laughs> that's my I normally have mine sedated first. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to sedate your horse? No, no it's fine. I'll put right, up man. with it. Uh, yeah, the um, the the carriages move uh, to into the the prison gates open like that, uh, and you are kind of filed into the yard. You get your gl- you get a glimpse of prisoners uh, are being escorted out out of the prison. They are all tightly shackled and bound, uh, and escorted by many many blue coats. Uh, the carriages kind of like they don't really stop it's kind of almost like a conveyor belt system like the mm-hmm. carriages just slowly move along uh and <laughs> like a ski lift <laughs> yeah it is it's like a, it's like a ski lift of terrible like criminal. a disney ride <laughs> like, like a the haunted yeah, mansion <laughs> yeah, like the haunted mansion <laughs> put it in more relatable terms yeah what you don't ski you must try it it's wonderful and uh, uh criminals are That's where yeah, i get you know, most of my ghosts <laughs> Sorry. Loaded in. Um, you notice, Barnaby, mm. that criminals are being uh, loaded in, as you would probably imagine, one to a carriage uh, to, cut, to cut down on, I guess, planning, scheming, uh, and to minimise the risk of passengers trying to um, overwhelm and, 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 and overpower. Mm. Well, anyone, really. You see, in this group of 15 individuals sorry looking individuals are two uh, are Rosie and Josie they are bought out they they've they're still wearing their kind of hoods but yeah. they they are now <laughs> why not they are now like stripy black and white <laughs> prison, prison, <laughs> prison issue kind of like long kind of uh, yeah hooded cloaks um vertical or horizontal Horizontal, surely. Horizontal, yeah. Very flattering. Yeah, I think, Very flattering. Yeah. I don't yeah. see what the problem is. Yeah, as always, you can uh, you can't really make make their faces out clearly because the hoods kind of obscure. You can just kind of see their like chins and like mouths and a little bit of nose. Uh, That's yeah, them. Like, That's the witches. I'm gonna make uh, a bit of a fuss. Yes, I know. They're the ones I, who assaulted me. Yes, Arnell, you see them. I, I see them. I, I see them. I do see them, Barnaby. Please try and maintain <laughs> the ones in the stripy room. hoods. Yes, we all... stripes. Very flattering. Yes, I but know don't let that distract here. you. I know why we're here, Barnaby. <laughs> to see these witches burn and to uh, yes, know, before they can pull any witchy stuff of our, of our little security enterprise. Exactly. Um, as the they are loaded up, they come to the carriage, the glowing blue carriage, like that is the next one in the line, as you have sort of organised. The guards loading them in, I guess, like, maybe haven't been given the memo, but why would they? They sort of load Josie into this and just put an arm in front of Rosie. Wait, did I just say Josie? God, this is so hard. (laughs) (laughs) They load Josie in, hold Rosie back. No, no, Uh, no, they need to be both in there. Haven't you seen the ghost ghost field? Barnaby? For pity's sake... They're witches. You want to risk this? Surely that all the carriages are secure. And not secure enough for witches. Not these common thieves. Fine. Physical barriers are fine. But for witches, we need to make sure they're not pulling any ghosty nonsense. Barnaby, if we stop this now and reload these carriages, it's going to put us off schedule. Is that something you want? I'm not saying reload. I'm saying just... Put them both in the same bloody carriage. Make me a roll for it, Barnaby. Don't Sweat. forget, you can push yourself. You can accept devil's bargains. You can do all sorts of things. Mm, I'm on three stress. I guess I should push myself. This feels important. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I've got a, a five, a four, and two ones. Okay. Oh, for pity's sake. Stop! Uh, Darnell roars out. Wait. Get uh, out of that one. Put her in the other one. The one that just came. Yeah, that blue one. Glowing one. How Obviously bloody hard is it? Glowing. Only one of them's glowing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. I feel much better. You have the the kind of carriages all kind of like stop awkwardly. Some of the goats just kind of like <laughs> just basically sort of nose <laughs> into the <laughs> carriage in front. Little of them. miniature pile up. Yeah, it's a kind of miniature <laughs> slow motion pile up. Uh, it is disorganized. Um, uh, but Rosie is 
removed from the carriage that she had been put in and put back in the one with Josie, which is the you know the, the glowing one, the one you want them both to be in together. Yep. Perfect. Uh, now lock say, it up. Let's say that this is like this kind of slowdown is enough that also like one of the prisoners who hasn't been loaded in yet uses the very quite mild confusion. Uh, reckons this is probably the best opportunity they're going to get and makes a run for the gates. We got a runner. <laughs> <laughs> Way to knock, Barnaby. Yeah, they, um, the blue, the, they don't get very far. The blue coats um, stop. It's important. And... It's important to my yes, uh, yes, yes, to yes. my to my disguise. I suppose, <laughs> that, um, that I appear to be a massive narc. So yeah, yeah, no, that <laughs> is point true. out the runner. You are completely right. Maybe against your better instincts, because after all, you are a thief. And of course, you know, but I need to appear like the least <laughs> like a thief. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, but but the illusion is maintained because this person is savagely beaten and dragged back. However, it all puts the whole thing off schedule. Uh, and basically the consequences of, of, of this Barnaby is that Darnell, the, comp- the complication if you like, Darnell has lost patience with you. He's, um, he's now officially annoyed that this delay had to happen. Oh, Darnell, do calm down and I take another of my lights load and pass him a drink. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't fun. load. How often uh, do you get to witness an execution in this town? I'm not drinking today, Barnaby. This is important. You have days when you don't drink? Yes, Barnaby. On days when I'm working. On days when my company's reputation, your company's A reputation as well, might I don't. remind you, is on the line. Alright, fine. Fine! fine. I, I advise you to stay sober as well. <laughs> oh, in fine. fact, put it away. <laughs> give me that drink. Alright. Okay. Pause it out. Oh. Oh. You have two light load left. I'm guessing they're probably... <laughs> 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 well. Okay, the procession, procession, uh, convoy gets the underway. Electric light parade <laughs> Get, gets underway as it is, um, and it, it it now starts to move its way through the through the streets of of, of Volusport. It is lined by um, the citizenry who've all come out to to kind of witness these fancy carriages and just to mm. jeer. They know that somewhere in here. Uh, are the two condemned who are being uh, taken to the execution sites and they are basically you know that it's like the mob is out in force basically they are kept well in check by many blue coats uh you know mounted mounted guard either side of the procession uh and as you come up to the street where lilith you are you are hiding seemingly from nowhere falling in with this procession are a group of spirit wardens um they are just kind of walking they uh, they're just kind of gliding ominously along as well. So you now have private security, you've got blue coats, you've got spirit wardens here. Security could not be tighter or more intimidating. I guess Lilith, you're just kind of keeping pace with the, you know, kind of moving along. I imagine you at the back of the crowd. Uh, you know, yeah, kind of yeah. Keeping an eye on what happens. All of a sudden, um, you both of you hear a kind of f-dunk! kind of noise and the convoy sp- uh, stops, grinds to a halt. Again, goats just <laughs> kind of start to push into the into the carriages in front, and over the n- noise of the crowd, you can hear like halt, 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 halt. It what seems now? like there's a problem, Barnaby. I don't know what this. You, what's happening up there? Oh, so, so it's a problem with the first carriage. Something's gone wrong with the wheels. Barnaby, <laughs> be on your guard. All right. Those wheels do not fail. Mm. <laughs> I suspect foul play. Surely not. The Who procession. could oppose the 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 true path of justice? <laughs> Unbelievable. True path of justice. Whatever. I'm just looking to get paid here, Barnaby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Obviously. Yeah. You keep pouring my drinks away. You need to <laughs> get paid. Stay sharp. All right. Fine. There's, you know, kind of a, a, a murmurs through the crowd of like, what's going on? Is, 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 is something wrong? Uh, blue coats are looking shifty. People are, you know, clearly being on their guard. The spirit wardens are just, as always, just staring impassively out, but they're now kind of scanning the crowd, mm. Mm. Uh, looking for suspicious characters. Um, let's see if they find Lilith. They do <laughs> you after all. Lilith, make me a role to kind of stay out of the. Um, okay. Stay out of the. Limelight, if you like. Okay, so prowl, I guess this is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a five and a two, so five. Okay. Yeah, you do manage to um, stay out, out of, out, out, out of reach. 
However, um, from your, you know, behind a, a, a family who've brought the kids out to see an execution, um, yeah. you... Lovely family day out, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you do, you, you see uh, a blue coat sort of jogging back, um, jogging up to Darnell and says, Found this, sir. Um, jammed into uh, the wheel of the front carriage. Front left. Uh, yeah. Clearly sabotage and passes a, a kind of now mangled and bent, elongated, telescoping spear kind of contraption. Uh, well, they, Darnell, why haven't they made their move? The carriages have stopped, but what's what's happening now? Nothing. Barnaby, that's the first sensible thing you've said all day. Possibly ever. You're right. This is clearly sabotage. Look at this. Man-made. Mm. Placed in the wheels. Right. What's this? It's got a uh, stamp on the bottom. Lumiere. No. Ever no. heard of them? <laughs> Don't, no. no. Is he? Is he? Is that a subsidiary of Astor Corporation? Or what? I've never heard of it. We'll look into that later. Right. Oh no. We just need to <laughs> get through that. today. <laughs> but you're right, Barnaby. If this is sabotage, <laughs> it's awfully quiet. Why is no one making a move? Search the carriages. I want the inside of each carriage checked. Yes, cool. sir. Blue coats run back. We're Should we personally oversee the uh, the investigation, Darnell? It feels like both of us, you know, you've got a keen eye, and I've not had as much drink as I would have had if you hadn't poured it away, so maybe we'll both spot some of them. Yes, Barnaby. And as I said, you've been, uh, since you stopped uh, drinking recently, <laughs> you've, uh, you've, I've become dangerously effective. You've become right? dangerously yeah. clever. Um, <laughs> Okay, here's what's happening now. Big teams of blue coats are doing this thing where they each need two keys. And starting mm-hmm. from the frontmost carriage, they are opening each one, doing a kind of breach and clear whoosh, open, checking that the prisoner is in there still, you know, kind of bound and manacled. Someone is, uh, it, you know, kind of looking around the inside of each um, uh, each carriage. Mm. They're not. They don't know what they're looking for, but like something weird is going on, like. Something's mm. up, uh, and they and and this group just basically starts moving down uh, the convoy one by one, checking them, uh, and they are approaching the glowing blue carriage that mm. contains Rosie and Josie. Mm-hmm. Don, I'll keep an eye on the blue coats, just your boys. Make sure they're not trying anything funny. Of course, of course. Right, next one to be checked is this one. Open it up, lads. Two keys go in, like that. They open the doors. Rosie and Josie are sat there. They look out at you, Barnaby. Can they see you from here? Yeah, I'm. I'm inspecting the. Um, I'm inspecting the carriages with Darnell, so they'll, you know we'll be positioned such that we can see into the. I'm assuming they're doors on the rear, like a van. Yes, that's yes. That's not what I was imagining, but yes, that makes more sense. Yes. Sure. Well, no, actually, no, because the goats are smushed up against them. No, the the goats are the 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 doors on the side. The doors on the okay, side of fine. the carriage. Yeah. Well, uh, either yeah. way, I can I can see in. They both turn and just slowly look at you, Barnaby, mm-hmm. and raise their eyes quizzically. Um, meanwhile, Lilith, <laughs> I do this over in the crowd. Um, you hear a you hear a little voice next to you. How's it going, Finn? What are you doing here? Oh, um, they weren't very nice to me. They scared me, so um, I uh, left. They were s- s- muttering odd chants and saying scary things about pulling ghosts apart and so I thought being a ghost I didn't want to get pulled apart so that's, um, that's I floated fair. out the bottom of the carriage and I came to find you Okay, that's because I was scared Okay, that's can I have fair. a cuddle? yes of course you may and then give her a little hug <laughs> and I'm like right I, I open my one of my spirit bottles I'm like do you want to hop in there and I'll keep you safe yeah I'm sorry I didn't do the job very well and I, I'm really sorry I didn't deliver the message um it's okay. They're scary, and it's up to them to not have been scary. So, Finn, okay, she's in into the glass, and it's just like, <sighs> okay. What well, I would like to do then? Can I see? Can I see any? Any? Like, can I see Lilith at all? Am I like? Because I'm probably looking around. You going, could potentially, but Barnaby, what you have seen is mm. that Rosie and Josie are in this carriage when yes. you were sort of expecting them not to be, yeah. expecting mm-hmm. slash dreading that this door would open. To reveal nobody. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
Is this something to do with you two? Why have our carriages stopped? I don't know. Honestly, if this is some sort of plan to escape, it's not going very well, is it? Well, I don't My think... respect for you has gone completely through the floor. Completely through the floor. <laughs> Shut the door. I've had enough of these two. <laughs> I would I would like okay, I'm gonna try something wild. I would like to push myself and cast Tempest. Okay. Remind me <laughs> okay. what Tempest is. So Tempest, I can push myself to do one of the following. Unleash a stroke of lightning as a weapon. Summon a storm in your immediate vicinity. Torrential rain, roaring winds, heavy fog, chilling frost or snow, etc. So I would just like... So I'd like to keep an eye on where the carriage is and I would just like to cast a thick, heavy fog Okay. around the carriage. Yep. And then, like, try and run through get in the carriage myself while the door is open okay <laughs> stamp twice and drag the two girls underneath <laughs> wow. with me and shut the door because okay. ah yeah. <laughs> i mean yeah there's there's and bold and there's bold um, yeah <laughs> yeah i would say roll for that push yourself let me think of a devil's okay. bargain probably barnaby you want to help yeah well as the storm clouds gather i'm just gonna start screaming about witchcraft witchcraft they're doing this <laughs> just Look cover out. any noise that of the thump thump. <laughs> Keep an eye on the roofs. There might be more of them. Everyone, look up. There might be on the on the rooftops. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, okay, uh, so Barnaby, if you do want to help by doing that, you, mm. all you have to do is take one stress um, for the sure. you know for the stress of the situation, and yes. okay. Lilith, you can add one d. So I'm doing finesse. I'm gonna push myself. Yeah, so let's count the dice. dice. So how many dice have you got so far? Two in finesse, two in so finesse. two dice. Yeah. Pushing myself uh, for Tempest, so I'm uh -huh. guessing that's another one. And, and I'm helping out. One for Barnaby One as well. for Barnaby. Okay. Do you so want that's... a Devil's Bargain as well for five, or are you uh, happy with four? Yeah. Go on, it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah, go on, what's the bargain? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Barney approach, Barnaby approach, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that... Um, if this works, yeah, you're going to be trapped in this tiny space that is only designed for two people. Yeah, uh, sort of squidged up with Rosie and Josie, and they are just gonna be able to whisper at you, and <laughs> mutter at you, and say things to you, and probably like touch your hair. And... <laughs> <laughs> at least the ghosts I can put in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. When the ghosts um, are weird, I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and and just the the act of doing that is going to be uh, is 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 going to be let's say two stress. What stress are you on now? I'm on five. What about level one harm touched hair? <laughs> That's better. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> You will take. I don't know what's your harm situation at the moment, Lilith. Nothing. I've got not. not got You've got anything. nothing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can add one D to this, but okay. the consequence, if it works, will be uh, okay. level one harm. Touch weird hair. mutterings. Okay. Touch, Touch hair, hair, hair and creepy mutterings. <laughs> Therapy needed. <laughs> so how many okay. dice you got now? Five. So uh, it'll be five. So I'm gonna roll four and then roll one more, but I might not even have to. Okay. And then one more. Okay, so I did get a five in there. Okay, great. All <sighs> right, so the five is the highest result yeah, there. Yeah, five okay. is the highest. Whew. Okay, yeah. You, um... Okay. Touched Yeah. Hair. <laughs> Touched hair, yeah. <laughs> That's a success. Yeah. Oh, you, my... They, 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 that, you know what my hair is as well? <laughs> my hair is snakes, mm. so... <laughs> they're going to be... Oh, my babies! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, you, um... It's the run of it's the run of your life. It's 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 incredible. <laughs> Summoning this fog, even as it starts to coalesce, uh, yeah, you you run, you knee slide through the legs of the first blue coat and Witch just craft. To... Look at the rooftops. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's looking at the roof, roof rooftops, and you yeah you kind of whip around a few uh, spirit wardens there as well. You 
you slide under the carriage uh, mm-hmm. and just kind of flip up the other side uh, mm-hmm. straight directly into it just as the door is closing because as, as soon as the fog starts obviously they're like contain these witches mm-hmm. uh, yeah and you 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 make it in Rosie and Josie are looking at you very stunned well, I mean it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to ever read their expression but like they're... stunned <laughs> stunned would be your guess yeah and you just like that on the bottom of the floor and it opens and you're just pulling them both just yanking them both just like get by the scruff of their necks yeah. just like quick <laughs> <laughs> boom yeah you both sort of hit the hit the hit the bottom of this uh, secret compartment and above it just <laughs> closes closes beneath you have we got that front carriage repaired yet come on it's it's right. It's we got a new wheel on, sir. Are we good to? Are we good to continue? Let's move. We're behind schedule. Let's move. Like Barney said, we're behind schedule. Uh, yeah. The um, the the convoy starts to grind forward again to a huge cheer from the crowd, and it wends its way um towards the square in Brightstone, where um, as you round the corner on your horse, Barney, this is your horse kind of skittishly. Kind of, um, rounds the corner, you see uh, a huge wooden. St- well, you see a huge metal uh, structure mm-hmm. uh, has been built in the centre of the square, and and on top of that is a, a huge wooden pyre. And stood next to it is you recognise Barnaby. Strangford. It's yeah, Lord Strangford. It's Lord. It's Lord Ruddy know Ruddy that Strangford. Smug face anywhere. He's tall. Uh, he um, smug. He's he's very he's very tall. He has uh, also smug. He's t- you know what. I think tall, tall and, and smug. smug, tall and smug, and you get it. He's <laughs> he's resplendent in his Church of Ecstasy finery, um, in his role as a judge, uh, and he is addressing the crowd, saying um, s- something along the lines of, uh, "The Church's punishment is divine. It comes from the gods itself. We are but vessels, and yet, and yet, these punishments can send a message." To those who would disobey or aim to stray from the path that they had promised to keep. He sort of labours that point. I mm-hmm. guess that's like the message he was hoping to... Can I glance up at the clock at the square? Yeah. Uh, it is five minutes to noon, which is when okay. the, the burning is set to happen. Flashback. Yep. Okay. Uh, I've spoken to my financial advisor and instructed him to sell all shares with the transaction going through at noon today. All Ooh. shares in the security company. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, that's tremendous. I love it. Okay, as the the clock hits noon, um, the uh, people are about, you know, the, the carriages are basically doing that thing where some of them split off. They go onwards to other halfway houses and other, other things. There now only remains the one carriage, the kind of electrically blue-coated one. Mm-hmm. It is, you know, the mob is pressing in at this point, but it's kind of a ring of blue coats stand around it. Darnell himself here is, says, let me open it. Give me one of the keys. Barney, do you want the other? Sure. He gives you the key. You both stand in front of the locks. Mm-hmm. He looks at you and says, you and I, we're going to be richer an old Strangford up there himself. Absolutely. After this, you put mm. your keys in the locks, and an aide runs up to uh, Ironhook uh, mm-hmm. and says, "Sir, urgent news from the market." <laughs> what is it now? I can't you see? I'm very. I look dizzy. up at the clock. <laughs> it's a. Uh, um, it's just dong, dong. Just start. What did you want, Barnaby? Did you want this to happen? moments after the carriage is unloaded yeah basically well if they were due to be set on fire at 12 i suppose i would have set it up for 12 because yeah, i'm right. a very literal yes, <laughs> quite yeah. simple man that's fine um, you're um but we but are slightly behind schedule you're so slightly behind schedule so probably yeah probably haven't uh, thought it through yeah dong 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 and uh, yeah he whispers in iron hook's ear darnell turns to you barney yes what have you done to me i believe it's Called a pump and dump. I think that's what it's called. Also, with a you dash of insider training. You pumped me and dumped me. <laughs> I mean, when you put it like that, yes. I'm in the trap door, being like, 
<laughs> Look, I had a bad feeling about this. I've run in with these these before. I gave it our best shot, but really, I'm out. I don't like it. I'm frightened by the whole thing. Handling witches, honestly. I mean, you see, I barely managed to keep my head throughout the entire day. Darnell is red in the face at this point. You could have... You... I'll make you rue the day, Barnaby. And besides, when this Darnell. comes off, it doesn't matter. I'll own more of a company, a very successful security firm. Sure. And he puts his key in the lock. His aide sort of takes the key out of your hands, Barnaby, and, and puts it in. This lady is so happy to be part of the scene. Uh, I'm just going to melt in... Oh, well, not, I can't really melt. I'm on a freaking horse. I'm going to... You're off the horse at this away. point. I think you have okay. to be off the horse yeah, to be fine. opening the thing, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to I'm gonna just... Um, I'm just going to melt into the crowd. Cool. Okay, <laughs> you melt into the crowd. The door's opened. You pumped and dumped at just the wrong time, Barnaby. (laughs) Uh, And he opens the door and just a faint squeak comes out of Darnell. (laughs) From up on the pyre over the roar of the crowd, you can hear Strangford saying, Darnell, bring forth the condemned that justice may be meted out. Darnell kind of turns very As I'm walking slowly. away through the crowd, I shout, Yes! Justice! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a crowd chant going. Justice! 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 <laughs> you do not have to roll to get a, a mob <laughs> chant going at a Volus Port execution. Yeah. <laughs> justice! 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 Burn them! Burn them! <laughs> them. <laughs> a little premature, perhaps, but I take my final drink from my light load. <laughs> Yeah, very Have a little nice. self-satisfied sip. Darnell uh, <laughs> turns around. He's looking ashen and pale. He tries to shout something to Lord Strangford, but the, the, he can't be heard. Uh, blue coats are closing in, and like gradually, people are starting to look in, and like word starts to filter out, and it kind of goes through the crowd in a wave. Like they've gone, they're not there. Must have escaped in the fog. Darnell says to himself, although you can't hear it. <laughs> Bloody witches. <laughs> What's the matter to do? Uh, he just he just stumbles into the crowd, financially knowing that he's ruined. <laughs> this isn't at sea either. He's not mm. going to forgive this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should probably have done. Should probably have should betrayed have done him it at on sea. A boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. Barnaby and Lilith, this score has been so jam-packed full of, like, clever ideas <laughs> that there's you're not going to have to roll for how you exfil uh, Rosie, Josie and Lilith from... I'm the... sure they haven't changed the locks on the warehouse yet. I can probably get in there. Yeah, we just need to know how... How is it happening? How are you getting I... this... How is this carriage going? How, how are they I mean, safely... it's been so expertly yeah. modified that they really can't tell there's anything wrong with it so yeah. they're going to return the we're going to return the carriages eventually to their um yeah. you know to the to the warehouse and as as i mentioned earlier you know this their understanding of witchcraft is is such that they what what is there to investigate the the door was open there was a, a cloud of fog fog and they Mostly disappeared fog. you know um it's an open and shut case exactly much exactly. like the trap door right. the the uh yeah carriage. um you're in there for hours lilith <laughs> Rosie and Josie are on either side of you with their faces just like actually smushed into yours <laughs> the things you hear the stories they tell <laughs> I'm going to need to see so many plays after this <laughs> <laughs> you, will, you will take you will take many of those stories to your grave <laughs> and they will and until then they will they will haunt you but you do eventually spill out gasping for air onto the, onto the, onto the floor of this uh, this thing and Rosie and Josie are uh, safely saved from execution uh, brilliant Yay. work mm-hmm. um, why don't we smash cut you back to Kelinor's uh, mouldering safe house mm-hmm. yeah I've used some of the profits from my um, my pump and dump scheme to pay off the tabaxi don't want to make an enemy of that guy he's extremely organised no yeah um, cards on the yeah yeah let's say that pump and dump thing was genius. Let's say it made you five coin, which is huge. And let's mm. say you gave two to cart on the road. Yeah. No. You did have was a problem the... before, like with gang finances, if you remember. We did, yeah, I was going to say. yeah. There is so... no longer a problem with gang finances. Perfect. And a little for Barnaby as well, obviously. Okay, a couple yeah. of coins for gang finances. Yeah. At least a coin for Barnaby for, you know, admin. 
Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, finder's fee, yeah. Quite. Exactly. Transaction fees. Yeah. Uh, solicitor's fees. There's very little left for the gang yeah. by the time. <laughs> <laughs> by the time it's all been... Catering. Yeah. Entertainment. Exactly. All right, so you're back in. You're back with Kelly and Orr, uh, mm-hmm. who has, you know, embraced Rosie and Josie, sent them skipping on their way. Um, I mean, not skipping, but kind of more just like eerily gliding, gliding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. with lingering looks at both of you that like could be interpreted as gratitude uh, or could be interpreted as like a kind of solemn vow to possess Rugerous your soul one day. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's hard to know. Enjoying that ambiguity. <laughs> but they float away. Um, do you have any more of those throat sweets? Uh, yeah, 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 dear. <laughs> Give her a green Thank smoothie you. as well. Oh, yes, yeah, come on. You're looking I a little wouldn't... low on vitamins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't drink the green smoothie. <laughs> I drank the green smoothie. Uh, it wasn't a smoothie. Call yourself a nutritionist. <laughs> I bet you don't... I bet you're not even a licensed yoga instructor either, are you? I'm not no. a <laughs> Okay. Sorry, carry on. Was- your, your, your side of the bargain. It was just drain water. I was hoping that it would make him throw up all the alcohol, but it didn't. <laughs> well, I'd imagine the alcohol sterilised it, and it's probably perfectly yeah. potable now. Uh, Kelly, um, Kelly takes it and uh, mixes it with that sort of weird milky substance that she had from before and just downs it all uh, along with a throat sweet that you, from, from you, Lilith. <sighs> <laughs> that packs a punch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But the old throat is feeling much smoother. Thank you. That's all right. I don't know how you did it, but you held, you held up your end of the bargain. I suppose I should hold up mine. Mm-hmm. Well done, by the way. I wasn't there, but I hear that Strangford threw a, a real fit. <laughs> he did. His he stupid did. smug face. <laughs> I, c- I couldn't see it, but he sounded pretty angry. <laughs> he was. His face Strangford. went bright red, which really clashed with his, uh, you know, vestments. <laughs> Strangford. Bacaros. Curse them for the cowards they are. You know, when I was approached to join the Brighteners all those years ago, I was actually flattered. You know, positions there are traditionally inherited. Yes. Old money. Mm, yep. you, as you know. As Uncle it should Monty. be, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I was, you know, I was the first new name that the society had had on its books for really? centuries. And yes. that went well, didn't it? Probably should just stick to inherited <laughs> old money. We know how to do things right. I'm sorry. You know, it's just the way it is. <laughs> People need to be governed. You sound just like Strangford. <laughs> well, they wanted oh, my on. expertise, less, so I guess. Less, okay. <laughs> <laughs> than Strangford. Come on, let's be fair. Sure. Carry sure. on. I suppose they had to put aside their traditionalist quibbles because they wanted my expertise. Mm. With well, you know, ghosts. I'm quite good at ghosts. And they got good it good in a ghosts. week. I increased the efficiency of their barricade twenty percent. Interesting. Tell me more. About what? About the barricade. Oh, the barric You don't mm. know what the you don't know what the barricade is? I mean I know what it is, but how does it function? You're at war with the group. And you don't even know what the barricade is. Well, just any information's useful. And also, they've decided we're at war. We yeah, we we're, consider we're it a disagreement. Researching. Yeah. We're just like, hmm, don't like them. They're the ones being unreasonable. <laughs> Let me tell you. Alright. Well, the barricade is you perhaps know is a machine right mm-hmm. did yes. you know how is yeah. this new information no. let's say no but carry on i'll Good start to go the, back over the why dudes. don't i start with my modifications sure yes, yes. the barricade is uh, a vast oscillatronic machine that when it spins generates an immensely powerful oscillatronic field makes made total sense. much more powerful uh, by some of my tweaks and Interesting. additions um, the ghost field that surrounds Volusport works on the same principle uh, but this is of another scale entirely you I hope you get to see it one day it is truly beautiful beautiful right. and terrible <laughs> everything's beautiful and terrible with you piercing the veil beautiful <laughs> it's and a, terrible <laughs> it's a great way to live <laughs> got it right do you know where it is? 
Yes, it's a mountain, right? Some mountain valley on the spur of the railway. Yes. God, how did you find that out? Oh, you know, I have my contacts. and It was all me, really, you know, just uh, independent, independent <laughs> research uh, by no. me, uh, I, as I recall. Um, no. Yeah. Mm. The location of the barricade is their most closely guarded secret. If you found that out... Yeah, well, well I did. Yeah, They may me. be <laughs> stepping things up in, you know, escalating from observation to... Well, they don't know unless you're going to tell them, and you're not going to tell them, are you? If you're sure they don't know, I'm not going to tell them, no. Good. I'm never going to talk to them again. Good. Mm. Good. Yes. It's a, at the end of this railway spur, mm. deep in the mountains. There's a natural rock passageway there that leads between this world and the next. I wanted to walk through it, but um, they wouldn't let me. Mm. Some have right. tried in the past. None return. Spirits of and the dead. And you want float. to do it? You're this, this, you know, this sounds good to you, does it? Not yes. returning. Yes. F- fine. To find out what lies. Be- she talks about the veil for another uh, twenty <laughs> <or so> minutes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Spirits of the dead would flow in. Magic. She says the word like it has a capital M. Mm. Would flow out until Erasmus Astor. You know. You've heard of him? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had breakfast with the guy, actually. <laughs> Lovely bloke. Well, he's been dead what? for hundreds of years. So. Oh, the other guy. Well, I get my astors mixed up. Yeah, they're, they're all pretty all similar. basically the same. He discovered uh, this passageway. He built the barricade over it. It worked immediately. Ellie would say catastrophically uh, because it brought about the ghost calamity. Um, mm. She always was a great believer in the, the natural order, the coward. <laughs> the Brighteners, right? They they maintain, they oversee the running of the barricade. They maintain the secrecy surrounding it. They're not interested in, 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 at all in finding out what it can really do. What it could really do. She talks about the veil for another sort of 15 <laughs> or 20 minutes. They maintain secrecy, and this is key, so that the, so that the ghost calamity that has struck... All of Geth is believed to be an unavoidable natural disaster. I don't know if either of you went to school. It's not a given here, but... I went to school, but I mainly played polo. Right. Well, so if you had done a history class, that's what they would have told you. The ghost calamity was a natural disaster. Mm. Mm -hmm. They maintain that lie. All they are is caretakers. When I was recruited, I thought I'd found myself among like-minded individuals, but they see ghosts as fuel for oscillatronic society and nothing more. She talks about piercing the veil for another sort of <laughs> 15 minutes. Bloody hell. Wish I it is the drinks. means to peer into the great beyond and embrace its mysteries and yes, its horrors, but also its beauties. Horrors, beauties, got it. When the brightness approached me, I knew Ellie would never understand, so I drove a wedge between us. But to be honest, I miss her. How is she? Well, you should get together. She's well, very well. Yeah, you should get together, have a drink sometime. You know, meet for breakfast. Why not? Do you think she would? After all this time, she might be persuaded. Since your change of heart. Well, then maybe I... she's cut off mid-conversation by a sort of like banging noise from oh. downstairs in this house. Hmm. She stands up, bolt upright, and the door behind you two bursts open, and in stride six <laughs> red sashes. Barnaby, you've encountered the red sashes before. Blue they nice. are an extremely accomplished, deadly, and ruthless Casimir absolutely can't stand them <laughs> uh, mercenary group for hire Zilla and Casimir may have hinted to you before that um, it appears the Brighteners may have enlisted their mm. help uh, they, they may stri- have hinted it, I may not have been listening mm-hmm. they stride into this room uh, they all have large deadly looking swords uh, and they all draw them, all six of them uh, and advance. I knew we should have wrapped this conversation up 
partway through the second <laughs> 20 minutes of the veil. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was a bit less piercing the veil chat. Yeah. Um, yeah. We'd have been Kelly out actually sort of pushes in front of you both and, and kind of like guards you and says, stay back. Stay back. They continue advancing. Okay. I would like uh, to perform uh, a ritual. Okay. Um, so ritual whisper, whispers uh, can study an occult ritual or create a new one to summon a supernatural effect or being. You know uh, the arcane methods to perform rituals, uh, sorcery. You begin with one ritual already learned. Okay. Um, and basically from one of my experiences with uh, Kazmir in uh, the train yard yep. where I saw the ghost split open a veil um, into the next world. I kind of studied that. A basilisk so, came out. Yeah. As I recall. So I would like to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. I'm going to okay, turn yes. to Kelly and be like, watch this. <laughs> You'll like this. <laughs> and just be like, and there, as if I have put in a subtle note. <laughs> sure. <laughs> An opening, and then something starts pouring out. You're trying to bring a basilisk through okay great yeah, um but i stay me. there because then i can i can close it up again if needs be before it destroys everything so. cool roll me for this all right oh it's a one and a three <laughs> okay you know what um you... i turn and go watch this and i'm like <laughs> you turn and go watch this and you go Hwa! <laughs> to empty air it seems like empty air to you barnaby actually but uh, mm. you know what like to uh, to Kelly, who is more attuned mm-hmm. to these things, she can see a kind of like mm. um, kind of ripple. ripple kind of appearing, and she turns to you, uh, Lilith, and says, "Thanks for trying." It's fine. It's fine. What I would like to do now is um, flashback. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's fine. To uh, when we were chatting to can you, flashback outside of a school. Fine. Yeah, go on. Car, you were car to... on the road. Yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, I wasn't a hundred percent sure that Kelly and Or would uh, hold up her end of the deal. Okay. And I wanted to make a quick escape, <laughs> and so I, I I asked him if he could set up a trap door in Kelly and Or's home, uh, <laughs> where we would have been standing for us to be like and out uh, if she tried anything, um, and that just happens to be where all of these mercenaries are standing and yeah. I'm standing next to the plate and I would like to dunk, dunk, and bold flashback go, okay it's huge <laughs> take two stress for the flashback stress. and oh. and you obviously you have to roll as well okay I guess it would be you're t- talking to you're asking cart on the road to do something yeah dangerous and so, stealthy and expensive sway so I've got one okay <laughs> Six. Okay. All right. Barnaby obviously has no idea about any of this. <laughs> yeah, Barnaby does That's not. That's why the fee was so high. That's why it was <laughs> two gold coins, because he also had to do it here as well. Yeah, no worries. Uh, yeah, Lilith, you step forward and just um, just kind of, it looks like you're starting a country dance. <laughs> um, you just kind of go like, boom, boom, like that on the floor. Uh, and to everyone's surprise, except yours, <laughs> yeah, the the floor of this um, kind of mouldy old bedroom just kind of splits in the middle, just kind of swings open, and all six of the red sashes just thump, drop down. <laughs> what, uh, what is happening? <laughs> Can one of them, please explain to me what's happening. One of them gets their sword out and just on it's the way the down, just, <laughs> just like into the oh. side of the wall. They can't they can't get out, but they're just hanging there, and they look at, up at you, Lilith, as you're peering over, and they say. One favour mm-hmm. before I die. <laughs> Do you have the correct time? I, I you're not gonna die, but I don't know. And I look at my. What Edvard makes you think they're not Lumiere gonna die? <laughs> it's an escape route for us. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know that. Yeah. All oh, right. All right. Yeah. I've go. I won't mention that he's. I was like, okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> What's the time? Uh, and I look at my Edvard Lumiere watch that he's made for me. Cool. You've made one of those for me. What time is it? Uh, 
uh, the time of our lives. It's our vacation. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can pick. Well, it's well, evening. Uh, it's like it's evening. It's about seven p.m. Okay. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> then your friends are already dead, and he lets go of the sword. <laughs> And falls. He thinks awesomely to his death. However, at the bottom, he is swept big <laughs> <laughs> and safely injected into the river. <laughs> yeah, and, and looking, yeah, you look out the window and you can see a kind of like little sort of, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of red sashes. They just kind of <laughs> fly out like that and land in a pre positioned manure cart that yeah. then starts kind of like <laughs> cantering away. I look at my coat. Yeah, and, and that's a lucky escape. Li- yeah, literally. Uh, Kelly sort of turns to you both and says, "I was a hundred percent convinced that I was going to die." Then <laughs> happens to me a lot, actually. It seems that they have struck, and if I know the brightness, and I do, they wouldn't just strike at us; they would strike simultaneously at everyone. I don't know how to tell you this. You may be the last two remaining hobby horses. No! Well, you know, if it's going to be any of us, I'm glad it's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. And anyway, it's fine. We're not dead. Yeah. They're probably f- oh, you know, have done some nonsense, won't they? Usual, <laughs> their old usual tricks. Okay, uh, be fine. I, I would... I'm going to end this by running out the door because, you know, if they have been killed i at least want to catch their spirits before they're mulched by the spirit wardens okay let's end there with lilith running out into the street with um uh with spirit bottles at hand spirit bottles at hand (laughs) barnaby's strolling out with (laughs) not much of a plan at all really maybe find his (laughs) drinking establishment all right, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, this was another great escapade of Vox Venture Presents Blades in the Dark. Uh, if you enjoyed this um, and you would like to uh, support the channels further, then please consider signing up to our totally optional um, Patreon by going to patreon.com slash OXclub. You get access to a Discord. It has a dedicated Vox Venture channel uh, where you can chat to like-minded Vox Venture heads, as I believe they love to be called. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.